Okay, when you're ready, Matt. Hello, my name is Matt. I'm 14, and I'm in the MPX program. And don't tell anybody, but I'm actually learning superpowers in the MPX program by learning a bunch of skills and defeating villains. So, some of my communication power troubles, because communication is a really key skill. Like a lot of you think, oh yeah, communicating is just talking to your partners and stuff like that. But for me, communication power troubles, I had a lot of them because at first, in the beginning of the year, I wasn't really very good at talking to others. Like, I would, I would end up doing a bunch of stuff by myself, and then my partners would not even know what to do. Like, Landon would, he would be like, what do I need to do? And then I'd be sitting over there, and I didn't even tell him what to do or anything like that. And in order to boost these powers, I did plenty class projects with partners, such as the, um, the partner where it was the scramble for Africa. And we pretended we were different countries, and we had to play rock, paper, scissors to put our flag down on each place. And if somebody wants to put their flag in the same place, they would need rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins gets to put their flag down. And I also did a lot of presenting projects, such as this POL, because we got to present a lot to learn how to speak in front of audiences and not be as nervous. And also, I had to interact with others in order to get good grades, like my partner projects and doing a lot of other work with people. So, some of the building power troubles I had was, like, our group, we argued a ton, and we got a lot off track. Like sometimes I would just take my half inch PVC pipe and I start pretending like I'm a lua fishing and I would get off track a lot and I'd always get scolded from Mr. Konecla and Ms. Calibro for tossing stuff in the air like PVC pipes and wood. And we also had troubles, I had troubles drilling because I stripped screws a lot and I even tried carrying my system by myself and I <laughs> dropped it and I almost broke it. So in order to boost these building powers. We had a lot of ideas and design in class, like making blueprints, making little foam things of our system. And we even made a plant tables to get used to building. And we also had to learn how to follow plans, because our group, we weren't very good at planning at all. And we have a bunch of extra stuff that we shouldn't really have because of our lack of planning. So we had to learn how to do all of this a little bit better with these powers. And finally, one of, one of the last things I learned was infographics. Some of the troubles I had with infographics was I'll put too much words than pictures and it would look like an average poster that somebody would put up. And it, it was a boring way of showing information when infographics are supposed to be cool ways of showing information. I also, I, I couldn't figure out how to make pictures explain the words so I could use less words. Like right here, I have the rain going down so you know that it goes down into the soil and then like the tree sucks it up. It was hard to figure that kind of stuff out and in order to get better with infographics. Why would I make one? Well, infographics, for one, they're a really cool way of showing information. And they're eye candy to the viewers, because compared to other charts and stuff, I mean, would you rather look at a bar graph or a cool thing like this to show information? And it, it just makes it more interesting. And also, I got to use a ton of different programs like iDraw and all of that kind of stuff because in order to make these, you need to use different programs. Like this one was on paper, and I this was probably my best infographic. But the other ones on the iPad, I had a lot of struggles drawing and stuff with those because I never had an iPad pen or anything. So. For cooking and culinary school, I got to learn how to cook and slice up, slice up food and stuff. Right here, 
I'm cutting, I'm mincing garlic, but just making it into really small little cubes. And some of the troubles I had was in our group, we couldn't figure out who was going to do what. So then we'd end up arguing even more in the kitchen. And then I also had troubles following directions because we'd go and we'd circle around this huge table and the chef, Matthew, he would do everything for us. And our group didn't take any papers or anything and we'd just go back to the kitchen and we would just go off of what he taught us. And then we would forget ingredients and stuff like that. And also another huge villain was defeating forgetting ingredients. So we put our paper out finally and we didn't forget any ingredients the second time we went. So in order to boost this, we followed instructions on the paper so we wouldn't miss anything like putting onions in or the bay leaves inside of the rice pilaf, which is what we cooked the first time. And also, we didn't forget ingredients by looking at the paper and we were much more organized the second time. Like Shannon and Landon did in one part, Avi and Zoran did another part, and I was preparing other stuff. And we also figured out that Taste testing isn't eating the whole a whole leaf of um, lettuce, and we just took little pieces the second time. And then we could all. I also learned how to recreate these dishes for my family at home. Like the first time we cooked chicken and rice pilaf, and then when I went home, I cooked that for dinner a couple of weeks later, and it was actually really good. And I was surprised that my culinary power was that good. Okay, this is, this is where we had the most troubles and the most villains that we had to defeat was teamwork problems with our group. So, if you didn't already know, our group argues at least twice a day. And we're trying to fix that. We're, we got a little bit of organization going like Landon and Shannon staying inside doing iPad work. I'll be doing the middle of me and Zora working outside. And also, in order to fix these teamwork problems, we had to involve Miss Calibro a lot in our arguments, and we had to figure out how to split up work, and it's really hard, and we have just tons of problems, like finishing our system last. So, what I learned was to be a selfless worker, and teamwork is greater than somebody working alone or trying to get everything done on their own, such as, like, Zoran sometimes everybody else would be doing something and Zoran would just be standing there working on a frame and it, it, he didn't work very fast alone but when everybody jumped in we're flying through the frame and we're doing everything really fast and we have to become a better listener and communicator within our group because if like Zoran would do bolts or something and I would be getting screws and screwing stuff into the wood and then Shannon and Landon would be like standing around and all of you would be wanting to do something and we had no organization with our building. And we also had to involve everybody in the planning and decision making or else people would get mad. So we got Miss Calibro to hold up our recipes and stuff and our idea designs and we'd have to raise our hands with our heads down in order to vote on things like that. <laughs> so here's a video of our system after the day we thought we completed it, but we still need to do stuff together. And there's also our plant project. It's not playing. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So this is our system. We had to change our drain design because we ended up figuring out that our Drain couldn't fit on the side, so we needed to make a snake system instead. And then that's the system from last year. And these tables, these are our plant rehabilitation tables that we built for getting used to in, getting used to the tools. And what we're doing is we're just like helping these plants that nobody wanted, and we're trying to get them strong and growing again. So then maybe someday people will want them. And then. That's all I have. Oh. Thank you. Okay, questions for Matt? Uh, 
have a question. Why okay. do you have pictures of people that are not even in your um, group? And you have pictures of projects that are not even in your I have a lack of pictures that I took, so I added a bunch of pictures, like this one. Okay, so what does that tell you for second semester? I need to take more pictures. Or your group hat. Well, you and your group, yeah. They have a group of us working. Yeah. Hey, so what's the, what's the hardest part of the presentation of learning? And if you could do it again, what would you improve? Um, hardest part of learning for me, or the presentation of learning, was um, figuring out how to set up the layout. So I would do the layout differently, so then I would be able to present it easier. And I'd run through it a lot more times because I only did like one or two dry runs. What, what will you continue to focus on in second semester? Um, I'm going to continue to focus on more splitting up the work and less arguing in our group. And also taking more pictures because if I had more pictures, this would be a lot easier. Yeah. Any other questions? Okay.